Now, if it weren't so pathetic, I'd feel sorry for you. Cufflinks. I ordered them months ago. Well, you want to give me a birthday present? Leave Walford. <clears throat> oh, I stopped texting Dennis. If you wanted anything to do, he'd text you back, wouldn't he? An embarrassment. I was um, wondering if you could help me. Yeah. Oh, poor kid. That's exhausting of the new baby. Usual, please. Oh. Thanks. Right, well. Well, you, you were all right. But him, yelled all day, screamed all night, been giving me aggro ever since. I thought you two weren't talking. Just because we don't agree doesn't mean we can't be civil. It's the major flaw in present-day politics. Debate is a healthy component in any modern democracy. And I am always listening. Great. Well, thanks for that. Is that part of your election campaign? No acceptance speech. You ain't won yet. <laughs> uh, this council seat is in the bag. And my priority now is to find a suitable venue for my winner's party. I don't mind admitting I'm relying on you two, whatever our differences. Uh, I am not delivering your leaflets, Ian. And I'm not being your token gay, Ian. All right, understood. Although, as it says in my manifesto, family values, Incredibly important. You ain't on your own. We're all here for you. That's that's all I'm saying. Listen, this birthday dinner tonight. Why don't, why don't you come out of us? You know, you can leave her with with your mum. Yeah. And don't ever forget, we didn't have a choice. You know, we were the ones that were taking the mugs. Yeah. Are you going to tell her that when she's old enough to ask where her daddy is? Of course we had a choice, Dad. We had a choice. I've been trying to... ...business people. Yeah. If that's the sort of thing... Tell you what, anybody starts singing happy birthday in this restaurant, I'm out of it. Happy birthday!